Well, g'day, curd nerds. Welcome to day five of the Cheese A Day Challenge. And today's cheese is all the way from the Netherlands, and it is Marsden, or Marsdam, however you want to pronounce it. So Marsdam is from the Netherlands, as I mentioned. It's a uh, soft washed, uh, it's not soft, semi-soft, semi-hard, uh, washed curd cheese. And it's been, uh, looks like, I don't know if it's waxed or in some sort of PVC. Anyway, it says it's from, it's got two contradicting, contradicting things. It says it's from Fricko or it's from Royal Hollander. So not sure, the different labels. This cost me a grand total of $5.67. And it was on special. Uh, why it was on special, I don't know. But maybe people just weren't buying it. Let's have a look. Hopefully it doesn't taste terrible. I wouldn't expect so, seeing it's um, imported from Holland. The Netherlands, sorry, not Holland. It says Holland on the packet, I don't know why. Do all this plastic wrap off first. Which I really don't like cheese being stored in plastic wrap, but it is what it is. Right, so it's got a fine layer of wax or PVA. I'm not sure, let's let me get it off. Around the cheese. There we go. Looks like it's wax and PVA or a cloth. A, I don't know, some sort of plastic film. Definitely not wax. There we go. Looks good. Smells sweet, milky. It's got, it smells a bit earthy. It's got some um, holes, a little bit of eye development. I don't know if that's mechanical or, or is just that way. I know that the Leodama or Marsden that I made had some mechanical holes in it. So, uh, sorry, and some, um, what am I talking about? It had some uh, eye development. So yeah, it was fine. Now, maybe the reason it was on special because this looks quite, well, I'm not say old, but the rind itself uh, is about a centimetre where it has a different colouring than the inside of the cheese. So I think it's been sitting on the shelf for a little while. Uh, you know, how long ago was it imported from Holland? Who knows? We're a long way from Holland. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll have a look and see what it tastes like. So let's see how it tastes, shall we? All right, let's uh, cut a bit off. I want a bit of rind and some of the cheese. This has been brought up to room temperature. Well, outside temperature, it's about oh, 24 degrees Celsius currently. It's gonna to get to a uh, high today of, I think it's about 26, 27, not sure. Um, haven't checked the weather really. Just get out of here and eat cheese for breakfast every day. It's just lovely. Um, so yeah, so lovely. Uh, very nice, milky scent it's just maybe that's a bit too big for initial cracker fest maybe not oh oh i can't make up my mind oh uh nutty I would say. A little bit of salt. It's not massively over salted. Very nice. Yeah, it's got a nutty flavour. Um, that's the best way to describe it, I would say. Definitely smooth, soft, creamy, all those things. It's got a nuttiness. Lingering aftertaste. Very nice. Really good eating cheese. This cheese, I know from experience, melts really well too. So really good on a toasted sandwich or grilled cheese sandwich. 
The rind's a bit harder, as you would expect. Mmm. Very nice eating cheese. Very pleasant. Um, not one of the best ones I've tasted so far, but not bad. Um, uh, quite delicious. Uh, it's got a subtle, like I said, subtle nuttiness. Um, it's not very strong. It's uh, uh, quite a mild flavour, but it is lovely. It's a lovely piece of cheese. Um, it's about 200 grams in weight, uh, and this one cost me uh, if I remember rightly, uh, $5.67 uh, because it was on special. So uh, The ingredients, it, ooh, good question. What does it say on the piece of cling film? I can't even read it because there's a for sale, quick sale sticker over the top. It actually doesn't say the ingredients of the cheese. Oh, hang on, can I read that? No, it doesn't say, no, nothing. Nothing at all. What's against Australian regulations? Is it on the back side of that? No. So no ingredients list for this cheese. I dare say it's probably got milk in it. <laughs> Cultures, rennet. I don't think there'd be much more. Maybe a little bit of propionic shimani. Maybe. Um, but definitely a nice cheese. It'd complement the stronger flavoured cheeses on a cheese platter. So I think that'd go down very well. Uh, the what to complement it with probably uh, sweet red wine uh, so on the lighter side also uh, maybe a sweet white wine semi-sweet I would say uh, something like a Tramina Riesling or something like that uh, would go down very well with this um, as well as maybe rosé um, even towards a Pinot Noir, so you would get away with it. So that, that'd be matching, and it'd go really well with a, with a strong cider as well, apple cider. Okay, so that's Marsden, very, very nice. Um, decent price, but I think I got it on special because the rind was a bit thick. Certainly wasn't past its use by date, um, as per the label, so all good. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching this uh, episode of Cheese A Day Challenge. Uh, tomorrow's cheese will be South Cape cream cheese with cracked peppercorns. So something different, so down to a soft cheese tomorrow. So that should be very exciting. And I'm looking forward to bringing that one to you guys. Don't forget to support the show via Patreon or YouTube memberships. And if you really want to make your own cheese, you know, that's what the channel's all about as well then don't forget to pop over to littlegreenworkshops.com.au where you can buy kits, supplies and equipment for making your own cheese at home. Alright, thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I will see you tomorrow on the Cheese A Day Challenge.